What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through how to create this 3D effect. So for this, I'm using a screen recording and I used the QuickTime screen recording, recorded myself subscribing to my channel because you get this really nice animation of the subscribe button. What we could do is select the video clip, go over to the transform tool over here and use the distortion tool. And if we drag one of these corners, you can see it sort of gives it a 3D perspective. But what I don't like about this is that it changes the aspect ratio and it can kind of squish your video. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is use this free plugin, which will allow you to keyframe the 3D axis. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. It's an effect plugin. So if we drag this onto the video clip and over here on the right hand side in the parameters, if I click and drag this parameter up and down, it changes the X axis, makes it look like we're flipping the screen recording in 3D space. So let's keyframe this and create a nice little 3D animation. Let's go to the start of the screen recording and click the keyframe button on all of these. So to start off with a really nice basic 3D movement, I'd say is to change the X rotation to around about minus 11. So it tilts the video back. And then the Y rotation, we, we can start it off at around 30. So we get this nice twisting motion. And then on the scale, let's add a keyframe on the scale and also the position. And I wanna focus on the subscribe button because that's where this like animation happens. Okay, so that's where it's gonna start. And then if we move to the end of the screen recording and go up to the Y rotation, change this so it angles it that way. Maybe even add a bit more zoom and change the position so that the subscribe button is a bit more central. And then if we play that back, we have this nice 3D kind of effect. We can always go back and change the settings depending on what sort of movement you want to get. If you are keyframing the position, then what I would do is select the video clip, go to the transform tool and the keyframes on the position, just right click and make sure they are linear. So it'll give you a bit of a smoother motion. So now we have this pretty cool 3D movement to the subscribe button. So if you wanted to use the same settings for a quicker animation in the future, then just go to save effects preset, untick all of the settings apart from the 3D orientation. It actually saves the keyframes as well. Click save. So now this preset will be available underneath the 3D orientation plugin already keyframed so that you can just drag it onto your video and it will just save a lot of time having the preset ready to go. If you do like that effect, then I also created a pretty cool plugin which takes away the keyframing aspect. So if I go down to this 3D orientation custom plugin, I'll leave the link to this in the description as well. It'll be an option to upgrade once you download the free version. And then on the parameters on this plugin, we have all of the parameters and scale on sliders. So let's turn down the scale and I also want to bring in a background for this one. If we go down to generators and go down to dynamic backgrounds, there's a bunch of cool backgrounds which you can use. I like this nebula one, so let's drag that underneath the video clip. And then if we go back to the parameters on this, let's change the tilt star angle to around minus 11 again. And then the twist amount, instead of keyframing the movement, we can just change this slider and it will automatically add a twist to the video. We can add a spin as well, and also a zoom in and zoom out. And we can also add a drop shadow to this. So now if I play that back, we have this nice 3D animation. And let's say we wanted to make a nice close up and add some positioning keyframes. We just go down to the horizontal pan amount and vertical pan amount, and we can make it wipe across the screen like this. So yeah, there's lots of cool features to this plugin. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll leave the links in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.